Good morning. I would like to respectfully acknowledge the traditional owners of the land we are gathered on here today, the Turbul and Jagra people of the land on which we are gathered, elders both past and present. I would just firstly like to thank Uncle Brian for sharing your story. And on behalf of us young mob, we need to hear stories like that because it inspires us to want bigger and better things and make a difference within our community and for our people. So thank you again. I would also like to acknowledge the elders of the mem the elders of members of the Solon generations here with us today, as well as special mention of Uncle Sam Watson, Honourable Jackie Trade, Honourable Kevin Rudd, Miss Terry Butler, Councillor Graham Quirk, Brian Gray, and Auntie Nolene Lopez. My name is Letitia Dunbar, and I'm originally from Darwin. I moved down to Brisbane in 2009 when I was fortunate enough to receive an, an Australian Indigenous Education Foundation scholarship to attend boarding school at St. Peter's Lutheran College. I graduated in 2012 and went on to university to study a Bachelor of Media and Communication, which I completed in 2015. I'm now focusing on my acting career and being a mum. I am both Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander, and on my mum's side, my mum is Tiwi and Amajira, and my dad's Torres Strait. I would like to take this opportunity, the 10th anniversary of the National Apology, to thank the Honourable Kevin Rudd for making the apology on behalf of the Parliament. My mum's Maningo, which is grandmother in Tiwi, and Amane, which is grandfather in Tiwi, were part of the Solon generations. This has affected me due to the, intergen the intergenerational trauma. I remember when the apology happened and I was in grade eight and I was probably failing every subject at school. For me personally, I took the apology as the beginning of a healing process, one that would make a difference within my community and for my people. And my go for healing was education, like Uncle Brian. Since the apology, I was the first person in my family to graduate from high school. And now I've got my younger brother and sister and cousins graduating and attending boarding school. Because they had heard all the opportunities that I was getting and the education that I was receiving and they wanted the same for themselves. So I wanted to thank you, Mr. Rudd, for making the apology. Thank you for starting the process of healing and thank you especially for your continued support and, encourage, and encouragement of AIEF and all of the students and graduate. And I just wanna thank you personally on behalf of my Maningo and Amine and my ancestors and me personally for doing the apology because it honestly has made a significant difference within our community. So thank you.